Hi, so my mathematician is Sofia Kovalovska. Sofia was born in Moscow, Russia in 1850 and passed away in 1891 in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, one of the things that affected her greatly was her gender as she went through her lifetime. So actually in Russia, she married a man, his name was Vladimir Kovalovsky, in order to leave and continue her study in mathematics because in Russia at the time, women were not allowed to study or travel unless they had written permission from their husband or spouse. So she moved to quite a few different countries. She went from Russia with her husband to Austria and Germany. And then in Germany, she was there for about one year. And then after Germany, they moved, well, she moved to Berlin and then from stayed in Berlin for about eight years. Then went back to Russia in 1878 to, she had her daughter there and eventually divorced her husband. And then in 1833, she went back to Sweden and stayed there until her death. There were quite a few in influences that she had as far as pursuing mathematics. The first of which was her uncle, who had great respect for mathematics and would talk about it, talk about the subject to her. Um, very often. When Sophia was 11 years old, the walls of her nursery were papered in pages of Ostrogoski's lecture notes on differential and integral analysis. Ostrogoski, just so you know, worked on hydrodynamics, elasticity, heat, and electricity. She, Sophia noticed that certain things on the sheets she had actually heard mentioned by her uncle earlier in her life. And studying the wallpaper in her nursery was Sophia's introduction to calculus. In Germany, 1869, Sophia studied at the University of Heidelberg under ma two mathematicians and one physician. The mathematicians were Leo Konstenberger and Paul de Bois Raymond and physicist Hermann von Helmholtz. Um, when after studying under German in Germany. Well, first she lobbied the school and asked um, if she can attend classes, but she could not attend classes. But they said that she could attend lectures if she had written permission by her professors to allow her to attend those classes. She was able to achieve that permission and studied under those professors for three semesters. In 1870, she moved to Berlin, and there she was actually denied admission to the university, which kind of helped her in the end because Karl Weierstrass ended up tutoring her privately for four years. In 1874, she presented her papers for a dissertation. Um, she was able to influence quite a few people, to be quite honest with her life. Even though she died relatively young, she was about 41, Sofia Kowalowski's career was very remarkable. She was able to overcome the general objections to women in science and demonstrating her intelligence and her groundbreaking work in mathematics. She was rewarded with a professorship and a role in editing a mathematical journal. She was the first woman in modern Europe to gain a doctorate in mathematics and the first to join an editorial board of a scientific journal and the first appointed a professorship. Perhaps her most lasting influence was the example she set for other women trying to enter academia. Um, she, besides the influence that she had on women, she left a trail for future mathematicians. So, in 1874, she presented three papers, on the first on partial differential equations, the second on Saturn's rings, and the third on elliptical integrals. Her doctoral dissertation was, was for this. So she used these three papers as like her dissertation. And so she was awarded the degree summa cum laude in absentia. Her paper on partial differential equations was the most important of the three papers and won her valuable recognition within the European mathematical community. That paper contains what is now known as the kochi kovalovskia theorem, which gives conditions for the existence of solutions to a certain class of partial differential equations. Although she published only 10 papers on mathematics and mathematical physics, many of these were groundbreaking 
theorems and actually others left a beginning for future discoveries to be made. Her early work in a theory of differential equations was a particularly valuable contribution to mathematics. Her other great breakthrough was her paper on the rotation of an unsymmetrical solid body around a fixed point. This is now known as the Kovalovsky top. Her further research on the topic won her a prize from the Swedish Academy of Sciences in 1889. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm sorry I went over by like a half hour, oh, half hour, 30 minutes. But if you want to know more about Sophia and the things she was able to do in her life, I'm going to include the resources that I used in the link below. So. Feel free to check it out. Thank you guys for watching and have a great holiday. Mm -hmm.